it's Sunday. Let's see what the cards will tell us for today. I will shuffle a little bit the card. Not to extract the same cards twice, but it can happen. And let's see what cards we have today. If you like these videos, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, like this video, share this video. Uh, and activate the notification bell and enjoy the videos I upload almost daily. So, card of the day. Past and future. Also, cause consequence. Cause consequence. These relationships are very important in tarot. So, let's see the card of the day. Uh, Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords uh, signify progress. As I said, card cards are very difficult cards because involve different type of uh, energies, and uh, all these cards require uh, some sort of reconciliation. Here we have the Sun in Aquarius, the Sun in the opposite signs, sign uh, of its uh, natural position, which is Leo. So, Sun in Aquarius, it brings progress, because Aquarius, it's about revolutionary things, while Leo, it's about creativity and doing things at first instinct. So, this is the card of the day, an air card also, it represents a fiery planet coming into an, an air sign and bringing some kind of explosive energy there, creating a very strong alchemy uh, and that burst uh, creativity. Uh, as a time frame, the Queen of Swords represent the period between January 11 and February 19, and in hours it represents the time frame between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. As I said, with these readings, it's very important to uh, know what to do with this card, how to integrate them into your day-to-day -day experience. What can I learn today through the Queen of Swords. Uh, what do I most need to know about the Queen of Swords and what is the lesson here? Progress. You have to find uh, the meaning of this card in your life and how you can make that progress in your day-to-day -day life. This was the card of the day reading. The rest of the reading is available exclusively through my Patreon page. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Have a great Sunday.